Kelly Clement here from Metastock. In this video, we're going to be talking about some basic chart functions, some of the things that you can do with the chart and manipulate the chart and navigate the chart. So let's go ahead and jump right in and take a look at what we, some of the things that we can do with the chart. Let's go ahead and open up a chart. Um, we'll go ahead and open up a Best Buy as our example here. Now, once I open up Best Buy, what you're going to see is a couple of things. Um, obviously, over here, we have our price down here, we have time. And I just want to kind of start by talking about time down here on the x-axis. When you first load the chart, you'll see you have this kind of highlighted area right here in this grayed out area. So the highlighted area is actually what we're looking at on the chart right now. This is what's loaded. I can, and then here is all the data that I'm not seeing right now, but I have available to me. So I can scroll back in time and you can see it'll highlight areas of the chart. If I scroll this back, I can then kind of change this and zoom in and out on different things. Uh, over here, I have this D. This is my interval. This is where I can change my time frames. I'm using Metastock RT here. If you're using DC, you'd have daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly. Uh, RT, you have all these time frames right here. And then uh, as well as that, you can set your own custom time frame. So if I wanted, uh, let's say, a, 22 minute, 20 minute chart. I can just click OK. It will customize it to that time frame, and you can see it's changed to a 20 minute there and there. And then that will be remembered right here, so I can switch back to that uh, very easily. And let's go back to our daily chart. And then here we just have another way to zoom into the chart and zoom out of the chart. And then these right left arrows would be if I had a way, to, if I had a list loaded, I could go through a list and we'll cover lists in a later video. Uh, down here, I can change the color of the charts. So if I wanted a different background, I could click black. I could click, uh, let's see, black gradient, black steel. So there's a lot of different, what we call themes in here. So you can go ahead and just change your theme and you can see the indicators and everything kind of adjust automatically. So whatever color scheme you're looking at, Metastock will take that and change it very quickly. So this video was a quick introduction to the x-axis down here. To give you one more thing you can do with the x-axis uh, along here is you can double click and here you have your options for changing date ranges, how, how much data you have loaded on your chart. Uh, you can also change some of your grid bands and other things down here to kind of give your chart a different view. So that's video one of kind of chart manipulation. We're gonna be talking about indicators and trend lines uh, in the next video coming up. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you have found this useful. Thanks.